Welcome to the Palm Beach International Boat Show 2024. Today we are at the Sea Hunt booth taking a look at their all new 28 Game Fish Center console. This boat is absolutely loaded with awesome fishing features. You guys got to take a look. Come on aboard. Ryan from Living Salty here and today like I said we are at the Sea Hunt booth taking a look at their 28 foot center console guys before we start this walkthrough video I just want to let you guys know this boat has a 9.9 beam and when I talked to one of the representatives here at Sea Hunt he said to make sure you notice how this 9.9 beam carries throughout the boat so it really creates for a very wide platform gives you lots of space to walk around this boat don't have to bump into each other that being said let's go ahead and start with the bow of the boat as always now I mentioned in the introduction that this boat is going to include some features that fishermen are going to absolutely go crazy for and the bow of the boat really shines with those features. So before we get into that we'll go ahead and show off. We have our anchor locker right over here. Pop this open. Got the windlass hidden away in here with the plow anchor. Very nice. Looks like we are going to have some windlass controls right over here, which is super, super helpful. That way the captain at the helm station doesn't have to do all the buttons and stuff like that. The mate or whoever's doing the anchor up here in the front can just do all the controls himself. Very nice, very underrated feature to have on a boat. Very nice to see that sea hunt included here on the 28 game fish. Now, if we take a look at the bow, we are not going to have any U-shaped seating up here in the front, which might be a downfall for some of you guys, but for the fishermen, I'm sure you guys are going to love this because we are gonna turn around and take a look at the helm station. Oh yes, yeah, so we have a big old coffin lounger here on the 28 foot center console. Now I like to stress that we have this big coffin on the 28 foot center console because there's not something that you're going to find very often on a center console this size. Most of the time you see these coffin loungers is gonna be on the bigger 30, 32, 30, five foot center consoles with built for all out fishing lots of room in the front to fish but they included it here on a 28 foot center console which is awesome to see so here is our big old lounger you can see which is going to come equipped with two cup holders on either side we're going to have some armrests here as well one of my favorite features of this lounger is actually going to be right in front of it it is a live well something i haven't seen done on any of those bigger boats big brand boats ones that are known for the fishing known for their no seats in the front is including the live well in the lounger so you can see live well right there which of you guys aren't big fishermen that is a huge deal because a lot of times when you're shell fishing live bait fishing whatever you're going to be doing you're going to be fishing some live baits in the front along with the back there's always live wells in the back of the boat but not everybody puts a live well in the front that way you could be sitting here fishing off the front you lose your live bait you don't have to go all the way to the back of the boat to grab it you can come right over here to grab your live bait which you might think might be a little lazy not to walk to the back of the boat but if you're tournament fishing or something like that time is everything you need to pitch that bait quickly you could be losing a sailfish that'll win you the tournament so maybe not everybody's gonna fish in tournaments in this boat but it is very nice to have a live well big props to sea hunt like i said i've never seen a live well included in the lounger up in the front very nice to see now another amazing feature that you get with the big old lounger here is tons and tons of storage look at the size of this hatch over here so you can see lots of storage room you have a divider over here so if you want to separate or if you got a big fish you want to put in here you can easily take out that divider now we can load this down with ice for long trips to the bahamas we could load it up with fish which is probably what i would end up doing load it down with ice put tons and tons of fish lots of snappers and all that kind of stuff running the dry tortugas bahamas any of that kind of good stuff that's probably what i would use this lounger for not so much your bait uh, or your sandwiches or drinks or anything like that for the day just because it is so big you need so much ice for that kind of stuff now of course we are going to have to test out the lounger to give it our living salty stamp of approval here it is nice i'm five foot ten it fits my feet all the way to the end enough room here for two people if you'd like um 
overall very comfortable seating situation forward-facing seating situation here on the sea hunt absolutely awesome job including this kind of awesome fishing feature on this boat now if we take a look along the side gunnels over here we're going to have our bolsters going throughout which is going to be great for that kind of live bait fishing i was talking about where you need to lean up against the side and pitch out your baits and of course they wouldn't have no rod holders over here so you're gonna have a little uh live um you're gonna have a little cup holder and rod holder hybrid over here we're gonna have a rod holder over here we're gonna reciprocate that here on the starboard side of the boat making a boat that's pretty much made for fishing up here like that i'd probably include a little bit more it looks like just four rod holders in the front i would have loaded it down like you see with like cvs and all those kind of boat manufacturers i'm sure they could add some more rod holders for you but i would load this down with as many rod holders as you can in the front because you are primarily going to be doing some fishing up here now, as we make our way towards the stern of the boat, like I said, those side bolsters continue on down the side. And if we take a look on our left side here on the port side, we are going to have our cabin on the 28 foot sea hunt. And looks like we are going to get a head in here. We are going to get a sink, a little bit of storage. We'll go ahead and hop on in and show you guys how it is to get into this cabin. We'll say it's never the easiest on any center consoles, but they didn't make it too bad here on the sea hunt. Like I said, I am five foot ten. I am standing up straight in here. We have a little bit of wiggle room, not much. If you're anything over six foot, you might have to bend down a little bit. But we are going to have access to our battery switches in here. Very nice to see it tucked away in the cabin. We're going to have a little storage for our uh, ladder over here, along with some access to our batteries, which is very nice to see. It is a little bit crammed in there with four batteries and other electronics might be a little bit difficult to access those but regardless you do have a nice little access hatch for those here's a head we're talking about very nice built-in head looks like next to the sink here we might have a little bit of storage yep gonna have a little bit of storage actually that goes pretty far back that's actually pretty impressive I'll be honest, I'm not really sure what you would use that storage for that's so long. Um, that might have been rod holder storage based upon those uh, rod holder holders that were there, but I'm not sure exactly how far back that is. I guess I'll have to review the footage, but could be rod holder, could be storage, could be used for anything else, but we're going to go ahead, hop on out of the cabin now. And out we go. And we're going to go ahead and make our way to my favorite part of any boat, the helm station. So first taking a look at the windshield, we are going to have a three piece glass windshield. So you can see, one, two, three. And this actually looks like it's gonna be molded into the T-top. If we take a look over here, looks like it is fitted into the T-top, which is very nicely done, very clean. Looks like the front of the windshield is actually gonna be able to pop open and get a little breeze in here, but it is completely enclosed. So if you do encounter some foul weather, you will be able to tuck yourself away in here, stay a little bit drier than you normally would with like a half acrylic windshield. Taking a look at that T-top there, up all the way on the top, we are gonna to have a little bit of storage. Looks like right over here. Not too deep a little cabin, but not bad at all. Let me close that up. We're going to have some switches for our lights, our spreader lights and everything. Perfect. Always like to see the VHF radio up here, nice and accessible. And we're going to have some nice little lights there to glow very nicely at night. Like I said, this is a nice, beautiful, big hard top we have here. Looks like it actually has a cutout for outriggers already right here on the port and starboard side of the boat. Now taking a look at the dash. So. My always biggest pet peeve is some place to put your phone wallet, keys, all that kind of stuff. I like C Hunt's little, uh, little stick on pad that they put up here. Perfect, that does the job perfectly for me. Then you also have lots of space to just throw your keys, wallets, jackets, any of that kind of stuff right up here. Nicely angled over here so it doesn't slide off the console on you. Making our way now to the good stuff. We have some beautiful Garmin electronics, nicely flush, clean mounted on here. We're gonna have our JL audio controls along with all of our switches, which is gonna go all the way across the dash. That is a lot of switches on this boat, but we're gonna have like our horn, navigation lights, fresh water, salt water wash down, accessories, all that kind of good stuff. This boat is equipped with a joystick here. We have our Yamaha display controls because this is powered by Yamaha, looks like 300s to me. We're gonna have a nice little place for our uh, captain and mate to put their feet up on the helm, some cup holders and a little cutty here as well. 
Now it's always super important to be very comfortable while you're driving. So that's why our helm seating is super, super important. Glad to see Sea Hunt actually implemented my favorite style of helm seating, which is going to be a bench captain hybrid here. You can see you have the ability to sit down just like so and drive like that, which is gonna be very comfortable. Now this way, like standing up straight, I am just able to see the bow of the boat, which is pretty good, but I prefer personally to drive standing up. So we go ahead and flip this on over. But before we do, you can see that it is kind of a bench style because it's all connected, but it is captain style because you have individual seating options here. We'll go ahead and lean against the uh, helm seat over here. Very comfortable, show you guys my eye point of view here this is what i'm seeing driving the 28 game fish sea hunt here very nice plenty of clearance you can see perfectly fine driving this boat and it is very nice upholstery quality that they have here on this sea hunt and we take a look underneath the helm seats we're actually going to have a little panel which is going to lead to a ton a ton of storage underneath this helm seat wow that is pretty impressive looks like we're going to have some more storage on the other side we're going to have to check out but you can go ahead and throw any of your belongings. A lot of times when I'm out on the boat, I end up bringing lots of backpacks for filming and uh, I prefer to put all my jigs and stuff like that in the backpack. So I'd probably end up throwing a lot of that kind of stuff in there because usually we just kind of leave it out on the seats. That'd be a great way to tuck it away out of the elements, especially in case it rains. But on the starboard side of the boat, let's check out that other hatch that was over here. Ah, perfect. Glad to see they included this here on this fishing boat. So we're going to have a bunch of tackle storage over here. We're going to have, looks like two small boxes, one large box here for you. On the side, we're going to have these little, oh, okay, that's going to be for a troll lure. So you're going to throw all like your troll lures and this everything inside this mesh bag. Perfect. Very nice little thoughtful feature here. You can see it kind of just slides right in on this track. Perfect. And we got two of those here on this tackle station slide out we have a little cutty drawer that's got three separations in it we got two of those like i said i probably throw any sinkers hooks any of that kind of stuff that we're commonly using that day i would end up putting there leader material especially those kind of stuff you don't want to go digging for you kind of need quickly and since we're here we're going to go over the floor hatch that we see here on the starboard side of the boat and we do have an identical oh that opened quickly hatch on the uh port side of the boat as well but this is going to be your perfect your fish box for those long skinny fish you can see that is a pretty big fish box actually and that is going to be perfect for all of our wahoo kingfish mahi those long skinny delicious fish that we all love to catch here in south florida that is going to be the perfect storage not going to say that you're going to fish a, fit a swordfish in there because you're not going to on that fish box but nonetheless maybe that's why you have the big fish box or the coffin box in the front of this boat but we'll go ahead and close up this box like i said we have an identical one to this on the port side of the boat as well now moving on to the stern of the boat we're taking a look behind the helm station here of course we're going to have a lot of rod holders on this boat so we're going to have four here and we are going to have two going out the sides so you can see one over there one over there, which is perfect for live bait fishing, trolling, any of that kind of stuff. It helps get those baits out to the side without using your outriggers, which like I mentioned before, this actually has the mold for the outriggers already there. So you just have to cut out the hole for it so you can have outriggers and you can have those um, two rod holders facing out. That is a lot of bait that you could be fishing at once. Now taking a look behind the helm seating here, we are gonna have four more rod holders, which is very nice. In addition, we also have two cup holders. Right below that, we are going to have our rear facing seating, which we will go ahead and try out for you. It's going to be very uncomfortable, very important. If you guys are not familiar on a fishing boat, why rear facing seating is important. It's so you can sit back here, take a look at all your baits. You can see I have a very clear view of the stern of the boat here. All of our rod holders and everything like that. We'll be able to watch all of our baits. If we're trolling, make sure that nothing is getting tangled or when we get a hit, we can jump on that rod immediately which is very nice to have. Underneath, you can already see what we're gonna have. It's gonna be a nice live well with the little aquarium uh, window there. We'll go ahead and open this up. This is going to be a very nice size live well, it looks like. Go ahead, there we go, open it up. Nice, easily accessible live well here in the stern of the boat. Very nice to have here on the Sea Hunt 28 Game Fish. 
Now turning around and facing the stern of the boat over here, we're going to have our first off forward facing stern seating here, which is also the favorite, my favorite way to have it, both if you're gonna have front seating or the back, is that it tucks away here, so that way you can lean up against it, not have to worry about stepping on it, hooking the upholstery or any of that kind of stuff. But also with ease, you'll be able to pull it on out, just like so. Then we can go ahead, hop on, have a seat, lean back, enjoy the ride here on the 28 Sea Hunt. And then when it's time to fish, we can go ahead and just fold this right back down, just like so. We can stand up, not have to worry about hooking our upholstery, stepping on it, or anything like that. Now we are going to have one more live well here on this Sea Hunt, which is going to be right over here, which is going to make live well number three, I'd like to point out there, which is very awesome to see on this 28 foot center console. Not as big as the live well as the last one, but it is very nice. And it's nice to see they have the little gasket going around, prevent the water from coming out, splashing all over you on the deck. Go ahead and close up that live well. You can see you have a little cup holder, fishing rod holder over here on the port side and the starboard side as well. One unique thing, instead of having a live well like the port side of the boat, the starboard side is actually going to have a little seat over here. This we'll go ahead and sit in. Not bad, if it was my boat personally, I probably would have opted for another well. Um, maybe it is an option on this boat, we'll try to find out for you guys. Looks like we are gonna have a door here as well. As you can see, Open that up, move the cushion. And then you have access to the transom of the boat and your Yamaha outboards, which is also nice to have if you're looking to jump off the back of the boat. You don't have to climb over or anything. And underneath here, we are going to have a little bit of storage. All right, that is not going to be a very big storage, but it is gonna pull out actually. Let's see. Always surprises on these boats. So we're gonna have a little accessibility to Whatever is over here, can't really see that well in there, but it is going to be a little accessibility hatch. We're checking out the floor hatch over here. I'm assuming this is going to be our build's access, and it looks like that is going to be correct. Take a look. Uh, you're going to have access to some pumps and everything like that over here, which is nice, but it looks like you're going to have to go a little further back to get your complete build's access to the transom of the boat. See if you take a look, we're gonna have our water separators, all of our other good stuff, electronics and plumbing. Very neat in here. You can always tell a good build quality of a boat by their bilge access. And this is definitely passing the Live and Salty bilge uh, stamp of approval here. And you can see these access holes in the transom of the boat. Right next to the motors is going to be your access completely to the build. You're gonna have all your boat pumps and stuff like that in there. Uh, that is not the most ideal situation just because it's a little bit harder to get back here. It would have been nice if we would have been able to access it all from here, but here is your access for it. They are, did make nice big holes for it though, so that is good to say. And it looks like in my opinion, that might be a wash down station right there, which is very nice to have there on the transom of the boat. You do get a very nice big swim platform on the back here, if that is important to you. And a big deep fish well. I know a lot of times you bring fish off the back of the boat and they kind of end up flopping around in here. Well, this is a very nice deep, um, deep well back here. I know a lot of spear fishermen like to put their fish and just throw them in here. This is very deep. You don't have to worry about that fish flopping out of there. But we're gonna go ahead and hop out of the boat now and take a look at what this 28 Sea Hunt is powered by. Alrighty, on the back of the boat, we are gonna have twin Yamaha 300 V6 outboards, which is going to be plenty of power to be pushing this 28 foot boat around on the water, get you guys to your fishing grounds very fast and efficiently. Now, time to talk about price, because I'm sure, as always, you guys are always waiting for that. This 2024 brand new Sea Hunt Game Fish 28 foot center console can be yours here for the boat show price of $219,000. Like I said, here are some more specs on it. 28 foot nine nine beam, which is just huge. And you guys saw, it is a very wide boat. No problem loading it up with a bunch of friends going out fishing. Plenty of room, you're not gonna be bumping into each other. And that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's walkthrough video of the 28 Sea Hunt Game Fish, the all new fishing center console by Sea Hunt. Very nice job on this. Really love that front of the boat. The bow is definitely my favorite part of it. I love me a coffin box especially on a 28 foot center console. That's awesome to see. That live well in the front, very, very nice feature. I hope, hope to see that on some more boats here in the future, other boat manufacturers and stuff. That is a really great idea. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Definitely consider subscribing down below. 
If you guys did enjoy this boat walkthrough video, we do tons of them here on Living Salty. I'm gonna go ahead and link another one here on the left side of the screen that I think you guys are really gonna like. Go ahead and watch that next. Thank you guys again for watching. Until my next video, remember to keep living salty.